Hi, my name's Dale and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. I've got a unique video for you today showing you and trying to explain to you why I haven't been producing very many videos and why they have very little to do with working in the shop. And that's because this year we moved from Sandpoint, Idaho, which is just 45 minutes south of the Canadian border to Atlanta this year, and that was about eight months ago. Well, during this time, my shop was moved and basically put into storage. And behind me, you can see, we've got a double car garage, and it's packed with the tools. Now, I never set up a shop here because I want to get a permanent location that um, I can utilize that's quite a bit larger than a normal garage. So let me show you some of the new tools I've picked up this year. Here in Atlanta, it's been a great year on Craigslist for me. So let's start out with these cabinets right here. I got two of these multi-drawer cabinets. Really nice um, set up with heavy duty ball bearings. Um, one of the interesting things is you have to close the drawers on these or you can't open up another one. So that's a good thing for me because I don't do a very good job of closing drawers so it's going to help keep the shop a lot cleaner. And as we come through here, take a look. Just picked up a couple small DC motors which I plan to use very soon. I'm going to put them on the uh, surface grinder to uh, automate a little bit. Back here is the uh, Hardinge lathe. This is a six position turret lathe. It's a V-bed, or I mean, excuse me, a gap bed. Very old, very cool machine. Back here you can kind of see just the ordinary stuff. Oh, here's a great one. I've got a cold saw. It has a numeric hydraulic uh, feed to push the blade into the metal. Also has a wonderful air vise on it. Backing up, of course, you've seen the milling machine. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the head on a milling machine upside down like that before. Kind of interesting looking. It's the best way to actually move them. It keeps, lowers the center of gravity and makes it easier to lift. But on the top, you see I've got this great little 90 degree head. Really looking forward to using that. Over here we've got the surface grinder, which I hope you guys have seen that video. I think it's called Craigslist Find, the surface grinder. And over here is really nice. I picked up a Harding HLV lathe. This is probably one of the nicest lathes you can ever purchase. Very, they're very expensive. I got this one for next to nothing, only because it's completely worn out and needs to be totally rebuilt, but well worth it because I'll have this lathe forever. Behind me, oh check this out. I've got a new air compressor head. I don't even know how big this head is. Um, well, let me put a foot up there. Yes, I'm wearing flip-flops in the shop. Uh, got to feed the trolls, remember guys? Somebody's got to have something to complain about. Big, big thing. Four V-belts to run it. Pretty nice head. Keep going here. This blue box back here is actually a Miller plasma cutter. Very cool. Looking forward to getting a chance to use that. Here's another um, interesting item for cutting steel. A manual iron worker. Everybody needs one of these in their shop. You know, again, just a great purchase. I ended up building a whole stand for it. Um, I picked this up actually in Idaho when I was there. Very cool. I'll do a whole uh, review on that as soon as the new shop's set up. Up here, of course, everybody needs an Allen Smart Scope, right? Yeah. Well, especially if you have an old carbureted engine like I do on the Land Rover. I need that. Only picked it up for 50 bucks, so I guess it's a good value. Back here, you can see there's a sander, kind of where all the um, welders are sitting right now. Over here is the homemade bead roller with some just gnarly bead rolling dies on it that I made for a specific project. I should do a whole video on what I did for those. Very cool. You guys of course have seen the Entco lathe. Great lathe.
over here we're going to go to it'll probably be my go-to metal lathe it is a clausing colchester 15 inch 60 inches between centers this thing can do more threads and more finishes than any lathe i've ever seen so just the way it is right now you can do about 500 different threads and finishes and if I change a gear in there, I can double that. It came with uh, the Enco tool post, you know, four jaw, three jaw, um, basic tooling. I'd like to do a complete video on this, and I probably will uh, when I do a shop tour. Back there is just a great case. That'll be where I'll put a lot of my fixtures, different types of things for the milling machine or the lathe or boat. Um, great old bandsaw I picked up, horizontal bandsaw. That thing is cast iron from one end to the other. Very solid, just cool looking, probably made in the 30s, maybe 40s. Really a nice machine. So there we go. My shop and what state it's in. Now, I'm showing you this because I want to announce something new. I am getting a shop space soon and it's cool it's 1500 square feet 10 foot wide uh, roll-up door heating here in Atlanta you have to have air conditioning it has air conditioning and the bonus is three-phase power so we're gonna be putting together a whole shop here getting everything up and running and start doing videos again where I'm actually in the shop working with machines so I hope you've liked this video if you did Please uh, comment, please subscribe, give me some thumbs up, all that good stuff. So until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.